Do you want to scrape Google SERP via an API? It's now available with through. I'm really happy to announce today that the first version of the through API has been released. Okay, it's still in beta, but it's available. Let's have a look together. The through API is coming right now with two endpoints. The first endpoint, I let you guess, scrape the SERP. Indeed, now you can scrape the SERP get all the data, the same data that you get via the user interface of through via an API. Once you call this endpoint, you will get all information about the SERP, all information about the result page, all on-page information about every single page on the SERP. You will get the headline structure, you will get meta information, you will get as well the body, the most common questions and more. The second endpoint, lets you scrape one single URL. So it's quite helpful if you want to scrape a full website, you cannot do that programmatically. And now I'd like to show you how to get started with the setup of through API and get your first API calls. To use the through API, the first thing to do is to set it up. Click on the menu, then on API. From here, what you have to do is to generate an API key. Quite simple click on generate key. This key here will be needed each time you request the through API. As well, for some endpoints, for instance, when you want to scrape the SERP, you need to define a webhook endpoint on your server. Why? Because this process might take more than 30 seconds. And then when the process is done, through will notify your application and send data back to this endpoint. So here, just define your server and a post endpoint that is open. Click on update endpoint and that's it. The API is set up. Now you can start calling it. To call the API, there is some request builders that will help you to create this request and as well practice uh, the API. Two endpoints. The first one is scrape the SERP. So basically this one will scrape the whole SERP. And the second endpoint, scrape a web page. So here you have to enter a an URL and it will return all the data on the page. Let's try the endpoint scrape a web page URL first. So what you have to do here, enter URL, select a language, important for natural language processing. And here you can see it is to get a uh, request that you have to uh, execute. Of course, this should be done within your application, but we can try that today with Postman. So here I'm in Postman now, and you can see here there is a URL, the get URL with different parameters, my API key, the URL and the language, and I will just execute this request. In two seconds, you will get a response from the through API. And here, what you can see is basically a JSON object containing all information about uh, these pages, several on-page information like title, description, so H1, so H2, H3, and more information such as uh, publishing, publish date, modified time, the type, the word count, image count, all the uh, link, links used, the effect on page, the anchors, as well as the table of contents, and other information such as the body. For the other endpoint, scrape the SERP, you will need a webhook endpoint define on your application. Anyway, we can already try and uh, build the request. So let's say I want to scrape the SERP for the term backlinks. You can define your country, your location, the search engine, the language, number of results up to 100 desktop, desktop or mobile. And then here you can see an example of the query to execute. Of course, you can do that programmatically on your server. So now we are back in Postman and you can see all the parameters here. 
and I will execute this request. You might see this error, webhook endpoint required to call this API. If you see that, it means that you didn't set up properly uh, endpoints from the through interface. Once you have a proper webhook setup, you can try again and request uh, this URL. If you see this message, success scrape in progress, it means that now through is executing the process and it will send to your webhook endpoint the data back. Here what you can see is a piece of code in Node.js. This is basically uh, my endpoint on my server, test-webhook. It will receive JSON and as well you have to increase the limits so you can get a larger payload. Keep in mind that through might send you a huge amount of data. Then in the data object you will receive the response back from through. Here you can see the log of the information coming from through in the terminal. So for the query backlinks, you can see that you get a lot of information like the related searches and then all the results with description, title, URL and different parameters and properties like the body and more. And you get all this information for all the results on the Google page. So now it's your turn. Play with the API, have a look at it. If you have any question, come back to me. Keep in mind that more things will come very soon with the Shrew API.